You know, I hate to feel like we're just moving from one hero to the next, complaining about who's currently overpowered and needs a nerf. I definitely don't want this to be a perpetual thing, but the truth is there's been a handful of heroes that have constantly been in the rotation of discussion when it comes to characters that might be a little bit too much of a nuisance or a little bit too strong, and Torbjorn has been one of them. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Force here, and today we're going to talk about Torbjorn and how he might need a nerf. We're really focusing on the console player base here. I know there's a lot of you out there who watch my stuff who are PC exclusive players, but console player base is a big portion of the players and the people who play this game that we all love. So we gotta we gotta include them. There's been a lot of hate. I really hate to see it. There's a lot of crap that goes on between PC and console players going back and forth arguing who's better. Like, we're all gamers here. In fact, we're all here because we really like one game, and that's Overwatch. So why don't we get along, shall we? But that aside, Let's go ahead and talk about Torbjorn and how on consoles he might be a little bit too strong and he may be in need of a nerf. Now, as I mentioned, Torbjorn's one of those heroes who, who's been in the rotation, okay? We, we're talking about McCree, Widowmaker, Torbjorn, and May. Those are really the four heroes that you've heard the most about when it comes to complaints in games, on forums, on Reddit, wherever. Those four names come up more than anyone else. I think the thing specifically with Torbjorn Torbjorn is that I know for myself and probably a lot of you watching this he's not as much of an issue because really on PC he's not a huge problem. Whenever I'm playing against a Torbjorn it's relatively easy to deal with him. You know if I'm if I'm playing a hero that's getting dominated by his turret I simply switch heroes or I have someone else on my team who can take care of the turret deal with it and then we take out Torbjorn and it's re usually relatively easy. Yes his rivet gun is good but with coordination and the proper hero picks Torbjorn is pretty easy to deal with. There's a reason you don't see him in any competitive games like ever. I don't think I've watched a single tournament where Torbjorn has been picked seriously besides something like haha we're kicking their ass I'm gonna switch to Torbjorn but yeah he's not a serious contender because he's easy to deal with with Pharah, with Genji, with Widowmaker just to name a few heroes that can take out his turret no problem and then subsequently deal with him. It's on the console where it, it becomes a huge issue so between the distance of his turret's track ability the instant locking on at 360 degrees, and then just the slower responsiveness of a gamepad. And then lastly, one issue that was recently brought to my attention, the fact that aiming in Overwatch on console is just not great. And I, this isn't a dig at the, the gamepad controllers. It's not a dig at console players. Like literally compared to other shooters on consoles, the aiming in Overwatch is just not as smooth. It's not as good. It's not as accurate, whatever. Um, I, I I've re I read a huge lengthy post earlier today going into the details and the specifics about why this is probably the case and it was a really interesting read I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I give you guys a link in the description below but essentially it boils down to aiming in overwatch compared to other console shooters just isn't amazing like it's actually not great so all of those things compound onto each other and make it so that his his turret is just so much to deal with and then when you start to get multiple Torbjorns on a defending team it becomes a huge 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 problem for those of you in, in the console player base. And I don't mean to be fixating specifically on this, but the truth is, I think this might be a, 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 a fantastic example of a character who needs separate balancing between the console and the PC, the turret in particular. You know, there's a bunch of things they could do. They could re reduce the turret damage. They could reduce the turn speed, basically make it so that it doesn't lock on quite as fast, so you've got more time to respond. Or they could just reduce the range. If I were to guess any Anything, I would assume that they would reduce the turn speed, make it so that the turret doesn't lock on quite as quick, and that players have time to respond and get rid of it before it simply just blows them up. And you know, like I mentioned in our McCree video, we, we talked about McCree being a hero that might need some nerfs a couple of weeks before he actually got his nerf here on the PC. It, it, similar to what I said there, I, I want to say that what really matters, of course, is the numbers. Beyond the community complaints, the posts on the forums, people complaining in games, the numbers are what matter? What is his win percentage? How often is he picked? How strong of a hero is he? Like, how many kills is he getting? How many times is he getting play of the game where he's just, like, literally staring at a wall and his turrets racking up kills? Those numbers are what matter the most besides our feelings or the feelings of uh, maybe what might be a vocal minority. And if those numbers stack up and they, and they are proving to be the case that he is too strong on a particular platform, then Blizzard needs to make sure that they balance him separately. And they've talked about balancing separately in, in before, 
But then those recent changes for McCree and Widowmaker, it was mentioned that they were coming to all platforms. I know that they're not on console yet as of this recording right now, but it's also my understanding that with the uh, cert process, getting patches out on consoles takes longer than it does on the PC. It's just how it works. They've got to go through approval and all this stuff. Uh, bottom line is Torbjorn is a character where depending on where you're playing Overwatch may not seem like that big of a deal or might be a huge, huge headache. And I think he's one of those characters that might need looking into, I specifically for the console. I really, again, personally don't feel as someone who's been playing on the PC that he's a, he's an issue. But for the console player base, he might need a little bit of separate tuning. Now, of course, being someone who doesn't play on the console, I'm reaching out to you guys. What do you think about Torbjorn? Are you playing on the PlayStation? Are you playing on the Xbox? How is your experience with this hero been? Do you think that he's too strong and that they should change some things, whether it's the turret's damage, it's range, it's lock on speed, whatever, or do you actually feel like he's fine? I would like to hear from those people who play on the console and think that he's fine. What are you doing to make it easier to deal with the turret that maybe other people aren't thinking of or what have you? All right, guys, that is going to do it for me here today. As always, I want to know what you think of the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about Torbjorn and let me know what platform you're playing on. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic afternoon and until next time, I'll see you later.